I love this Nintendo 14 playthrough on Mario Kart 8 Part 11 in the last part. We raced in the... In the... Uh, can I get this right, please? We raced in the Shell Cup mirrored, and this part we're going to be racing in the Flower Cup mirrored. And, you know, just just because uh, I haven't been racing as the females, you know, might as well give the females some credibility, because I haven't really... Aside from Pink Old Peach, that's... I was really the only female driver I've, all, I've, all, I've, I've played as, so you know, might as well give the females some love because, let's face it, when, when it comes to females as as male, it's, it's all about the love. You gotta respect them, and you gotta love for them. Give them, you know, not make them food. They, they're supposed to make us food, but yeah, give us flowers, and let me try and. There we go. I forgot to set the map. I forgot to do that while I was selecting my cart and adjusting my gamepad as always. So here we are. We're in the Mario circuit. And it's always, I, I forgot to go over my cart combo. It's always using the, what do you call it? Uh, I forgot, but it's, it's, the, it's the things with like the horsies on it. I'll probably like, oh, what? I didn't hit that. Just on the bottom. Oh. Well. Oh, of course, I can't get my drift because I'm too slow. That's always a thing. So, all right, let's just focus on getting coins so we can go faster. Maybe get coins off the uh, drivers that we hit. And maybe yeah, make this happen. You know, get as much speed as because I just I just hit Wario and now oh, it's gonna be a jerk to Wario. Just you know, help him out that much just so we can reward him with a uh, with a good old red shell. Anyways, we're in second place. We gotta catch Baby Daisy here. And then let's see if this item will help us. Or not. Okay. So much for the item, because I've already passed Baby Daisy. She's going really slow. And I really like this track, because, you know, this is one of the fewer tracks where you can actually just uh, try and have fun with the uh, bumping and anti gravity, which I personally enjoy. Like, uh, sometimes uh, I'll be racing on this track with the Gaming Master guys, and. Just keep. I would just try and keep uh, on bumping into like John or Jeremy. So it's, it's real fun. All right, so let's just keep power sliding here. Keep, all right, got another one. All right, shaking her, shooting her out. All right, that's good. That's the one thing you can do while uh, drifting before you get to the glider section. You can shoot yourself out real easily before uh, landing or so. So I always enjoy doing that. There's a lot of bananas on this track. Pretty sure most. There's gonna be that many bananas, you know, if you would despawn. Alright. Coins, that's what I was afraid of. Luckily, Peach got coins as well. Alright, so female drivers uh, match, or they make up the top three, which is I'm not surprised from, because I am driving as a female myself. Alright, Peach has a mushroom. This is this is going good. Try to make the shortcut. Alright, that's good. What the Goombas? <laughs> the stack Goombas. That's something you don't really see. In Mario Kart, that much. I think this is like the only. This is the first track that's ever done like a, a stack pile Goomba tower. Or so it's kind of it's kind of cute. I'm trying to find more ways to slow us down because you know we're we're most or half the drivers are trying to go through that path with just uh, the glider section. So I could see them trying to do that to us. So here we go, we're in City Escape, I was not, or shall I say San Francisco, I was, wasn't that long ago when I raced, or I was at, at, in this area, and since this is, I don't think I've ever raced on this track in mirror mode, so this is going to be kind of weird here, and this upper section is always like, real bumpy, so bumpy as to like, it kind of like throws you off, so we can't really hit, you can't really hit the speed ramps here. Which is kind of a bummer here. All right, let's just. Uh, I, I was planning on. Let me try. Okay. I wanted to try and get onto the anti-gravity section for more coins, because there's always there are more coins that way. Instead of taking those speed ramps, I'm just gonna take this section here. Try and go through here and try and get one, maybe one coin. No. Okay. This is real weird. I have to. I have to try and race on this track a little bit more. I just saw blue shell, that's what I saw, yep. Let's just uh, try and angle ourselves towards that ramp here. 
Because once we, once we can do that, we can, you know, get right back up to speed. Which is great. It's great for... Okay. Oh, I, oh, I kept my, my shift. Okay. Alright, so let's speed ramp out the blue shell. I'll help us to uh, regain speed here. And if I could could have gotten those two coins, can I... Okay. I was trying to figure out a way to... Because that, that turn right there, uh, it's kind of narrow. So it's, it's real tough trying to straighten yourself out once you uh, come off the ramp. So I think I'll go this way. This this part has stunts, so just as I expected. All right, let's just maybe get this. Maybe get another item. Like a hard left. All right, this this works out nice. Okay, we got our ten coins, and if you, and those coins are also add up to our gold glider that we're probably gonna get in like what months or maybe we not maybe not months because what well, John and Jeremy they got it in less than a month. In this game's lifespan because you know as of recording this game is this this game is still not a month old yet it's close we're getting to the 4th of July which is where it, it should turn uh, a month old you know just ba based on the calendar because you know it may be it may not be it's, it's not it's not June 30th because you know it doesn't make up five weeks which is you know the approximate uh, approximate uh, time for a month so that's why I, I, I'm, I'm saying it's uh, I'm, I'm declaring that the month the month old period for this game is on the 4th of July which is a Friday surprisingly it's, it doesn't really happen that often you know 4th of July on a Friday I'm pretty sure that works out for some some older folks who have to work so enjoy your 4th of July on Friday once it gets here I, I'm pretty sure this video should go up uh well not not uh in july but like but the 20 uh 26th of july so i guess i'll like, have a early merc day present i guess i right, got three coins that's great we, we need more though there's no shortage of coins really as uh see if we can try and all right, all right green shell Peach isn't gonna get an item, apparently. Except for a boomerang that someone from third place apparently got. Yeah, baby Daisy. Oh, okay, that was a little dangerous here. I seem to be turning or trying to drift a lot uh, a lot later. So I'm risking I'm risking myself in uh Oh, it's this way. Anyway, I almost I, I thought it was gonna be left, but it's gonna be right this time, because you know the mirror the mirror the whole mirror mode deal. Alright, ten coins, this is going good. On road, or I'm on track for, and you know, maybe another perfect 60 here. These uh, just trying to stunt off these ramps that I seem to, be, seem to be doing a poor, poor job of trying to do here. But our charge power slides are still putting in a whole lot of work here, trying to get ourselves a huge lead over uh, Peach. All right, that okay. It's a good thing the the green shell didn't. Uh, stack onto that lightning because apparently it does it seems to, to do that a lot because when you get hit, spun out by a lightning it for some reason if you, if you do have a item then it could be a chance where uh, it could hit you again which uh, I think it slows you down a lot more which uh, always sucks you know you don't want to get slowed down by a whole lot of things when you're trying to play Mario Kart it's all about getting to the front and staying there so unfortunately, I didn't get a mushroom, so I can't take that shortcut. It's uh, right there. Oh, there's there's my mushroom, but a little too late. Oh, there's another mushroom. Oh, more more mushrooms. Okay, I'll take the free mushrooms. That were probably dropped from lightning, which I'm I'm happy with. Okay, Peach Peach getting triple shrooms. That's that's not lovely. All right, so we kind of have to hustle here. So all right, oh avo avoid the booze. Apparently those can that, those can hurt you. Uh oh, Peach has triple mushrooms. I'm real slow, but luckily Peach is uh, not even close, so that's that's great. And there we go, another female top three here. Rosalina, Peach, Baby Daisy. You know, just uh, complete the whole princess deal. It would have been cool, to, you know, just to have you know regular Daisy. But nope, we have to have the babies. Gotta let the babies have some fun, apparently. This game got real carried away with the baby characters. 
I mean, Baby Daisy was bad enough, but really, Baby Rosalina? I mean, I get it, Baby Rosalina, to some people, she looks cute, but really, it's just completely unnecessary. You don't need a Baby Rosalina. That's, that's like an instance where, you know, the fan base, or Nintendo's being real, is getting uh, inspired by the fan base that are making, uh, that are making their own characters here. Ah, just can't deal with it. I can't, I can't stand it. I mean, it's bad enough that I've, I've, I've seen Baby Waluigi, and I'm kind of glad that Nintendo hasn't implemented that y y yet. I mean, they ha they have Baby Wario, but but only in the Yoshi Island game it has been the Yoshi I Island game. But that that character has been brought into uh, like a Mario spin-off title, like Mario Kart or any of the sports games that were that were ever made. So luckily, you know, baby the baby characters uh, just stops there, just with the Mario Bros and you know the princesses, you know Peach, Daisy, Rosalina, those characters. So. Uh, all right. I'm surprised, you know. To be honest, I'm surprised to see how far they're gonna get with these, with the baby character deal, because you know they're at the Rosalina point, which is kind of at the ridiculous end. But we'll see how it all pans out. All right. So lap two, we're kind of cruising here a little. We're not uh, going for major shortcuts here, because the game ain't giving us the opportunity to give us shortcuts here, because I saw. While uh, tackling the time trials. Whoa, Peach, where did you come from? <laughs> kind of fast. I was hitting all my marks and... Okay. She must be on shrooms. That might be why. All these darn CPUs getting shrooms. Because apparently, I'm I'm getting so far ahead that that the game is given second place uh, triple shrooms. Because I think that's a game... That's a mechanic that uh, they want to implement. Uh, uh oh. Peach has a red show. I have nothing. Come on, don't you target Joe. Nope, I'm, I'm not gonna. Okay, I was all in the plan here. Am I gonna get second again? I'm not gonna get second on this track. It's the curse of the shy guys. Uh oh. Whoa, we're on a plan. Okay. All right. As long as I'm gonna. All right. I'm still gonna get my trophy, my gold trophy. Can I bomb? Uh oh. That kind of worked. Okay. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Second place. This is ah, uh, third. Oh, darn pink old peach. Alright, so that kind of... Uh, I didn't want to bomb myself, but... Alright, 55 points. So much for the perfect 60. Sorry, guys. Perfect 60 is off. I, in instead, I got third place. I tried something to try and get second place, at least. But, you know, that was just a bad break. If it weren't for... If I threw that banana a little earlier, I would have gotten myself an item. Probably gonna get coins if I did get that item, but... It's a what-if situation, and, you know, nothing I could have really done there, and because of that, I'm just going to skip the highlight reels and stare at this black screen, which uh, indicates that I can't capture this game with my Roxio, because, you know, it has to be a real jerk when it comes to black screens, and uh, quality is going to get all jittered up, and if if I was recording with my Roxio and it gets to the after black screen effects, then... Yeah, you're not going to be seeing this screen. You're just going to be seeing a bunch of uh, glitched up, uh, glitched up, uh, whatever it is. Glitched up, uh, let me try and phrase this right. Glitched up graphics, if you want to call it that. So that's going to be it for this part. Tune next time for part 12 as we're going to be racing in the banana cup. So till then, see you guys later.